most cutting-edge thing about Hannes Hörblad isn't the phone in his hand, it's the microchip actually in his hand. The tiny implant is the latest advance in a biohacking technology that is steadily becoming a part of normal life in Sweden. We have created a new implant which is not a chip, it's a full device where you can add different lights, different uh, vibration, different functions. Sweden is a very tech literate society and I think this is the main explanation really why a lot of Swedes are uh, adopting chip implants. Swedes haven't been shy about upgrading themselves with the new version. Thousands already have microchip implants that they use in their daily lives. Waving their hand to gain entrance to the gym, confirm their ID or make payments. A short moment of pain not putting them off becoming part Swede, part machine. This event is an implant party, simply where ordinary people can show up and get a microchip embedded under their skin. The biohacking movement in Sweden is hosting them all over Europe, but it's at home where they get the most willing recipients. I think it's really cool. You don't have to carry any keys or anything. It's just your body. In maybe 10 years, everything will be in your hand. In Sweden, more than anywhere else, the future is already here. The national train company Essie has around 2,600 people signed up to use microchips instead of train tickets. Did you see that? And no need to mind the generation gap. 18-year-old Felicia and father Magnus still bear the scars of their new implants. Student Hannah Herving is also freshly chipped and now just needs to program it to open doors. Although, importantly for a future career, it does already connect to her LinkedIn. Some people say I'm mad that, um, I don't know if it's safe and all that, but people have been putting these chips into animals for 20 years, so I'm not worried about that. The long-term goal is for the new chips to help provide medical care in remote communities. They're already getting under the skin of the Swedes and may soon become just another normal part of modern life and of the human body. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Lund, Sweden.